Okay, I think we are live. Good morning, this is Matt from XO ProTech, and today I want to just far carry on from the live stream that I was doing yesterday. Now, um, everything that we did yesterday was, was, actually, was actually good, it was actually okay. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of stumbled at the last hurdle because of lack of support from Azus um, on the tank, Tinker board. There, was a, there's, there hasn't been a, much of a community set up just yet, but uh, it, it is early days still. So, um, yeah, I was perplexed because what was happening, that there was no sort of output onto the onto the screen. But um, it turns out that I'm just impatient. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the red light on the tinkerboard. Let's just uh, let's just get this in view of the camera. The actually the, the red light is to um, is to say that it is on and it is functioning. So, you know, that it's getting power. So let's try and hook that up so you can see. And all being well, what we should also be able to do is get this. Uh, I'm probably going to struggle to get this uh, powered in. My power lead is quite short. Let's just move that round to another socket. closer and then we can put it on the live stream right here we go so you should be able to see that the red light is on and this webcam is aimed at my screen here a bit a bit wonky So you see, it's um, especially especially when this uh, when this first goes on, it, it can take up to about two to three minutes for the for the screen to actually activate. So if you've just set up your um, if you follow my instructions from yesterday on the Azus Tinkerboard, and you're kind of stuck because it's not uh, you know nothing seems to be happening. The red light is on on the Tinkerboard, but you're not getting any video output. Um, it's probably just because it's it's setting everything up. Uh, my advice is just is just to wait it out, wait at least five minutes before you will start fiddling with things. But uh, as long as your HDMI connection is good and as long as you've got the red light on the power supply and you followed my instructions from yesterday, you should be okay. So yeah, um, I, I kind of ended. I probably was just a bit too impatient yesterday with it being a live stream. Um, you know, just wanting it to to get it to work. As I say, you need to leave it a good good few minutes just to sort of boot up. I mean, uh, ideally, um, if there was anyone from Azus watching this, we could do with a uh, with the Tinkerboard actually putting out a post um, so that all of the, the loading section, like you get with the normal Windows uh, or normal Linux, normally you get post information of what uh, what modules are loading, what uh, what bits of code are being run. We could do with that really on the tinkerboard, um, especially for sort of diagon diagnostic purposes. That would be uh, that would be helpful, especially for people who are new to it as well, so that they know that the actual thing is running. I mean, when you when you first sort of turn it on, it, it doesn't seem to uh, you know it doesn't actually seem to output to the screen till a bit later on in in the boot process. So. Um, you know, it's very much. It's it's not like a Raspberry Pi where you you're gonna get the uh, the post information up on the screen. It's it will only come up once it's once it is fully loaded, um, which can be a bit confusing. Um, and as I say, it's it's not very good for um, for fault finding, etc., etc. So um, as I say, this is a bit of an impromptu uh, streaming. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that uh, all the all of the things that we talked about yesterday, all the things that I did yesterday, were correct. It was just uh, it was just me being impatient, basically. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, it was just not. Um, and hopefully, what I'll do, what I'll write this up on a blog post as well, so that it can be indexed by Google. So if anyone else is having these problems, uh, they can they can go to my blog and uh, and have a look and and make sure you know them then they can see that they are doing the right thing um, and not getting stuck 
um, like I did yesterday and uh, wondering why it wouldn't work. Um, so, I mean, I, I did actually try putting in a different SD card yesterday. Um, I still got the red light. Um, the, the SD card was from a... Uh, was from a Raspberry Pi. Um, I still got the red lights, so it didn't load up either. But again, that might have been me being impatient. Uh, it could have been a, a number of things, really. So uh, I'm going to have a bit more of a fiddle with this. Uh, hopefully, we can do some more live streams, maybe if I get something else to work on it, um, and maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll see about trying to set up a bit of a. Um, a bit of help, uh, a forum maybe for this, since Zeus doesn't seem to have managed it uh, as of yet. So um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try and get in contact with them and, and see what uh, what what the score is if they they are going to make a like a forum for support for this or you know like a bit of a community. But um, as I say, it's still early days. It was only released uh, back end of January, I think, and it's only become mainstream this week in the UK. I'm not sure about the, the distribution for the rest of the U rest of the world, uh, US, Europe, etc, etc, but uh, I'm assuming it will be in Europe by now, maybe next week if it's not already. Um, US, uh, I'm not too sure. So, right, uh, yeah, this is Matt from Excel Pro Tech, and uh, yes, the, uh, the tinkerboard is working. <laughs> finally so uh, we'll, we'll end the stream there for now and um, we'll hopefully speak to you guys later on uh, thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe if you can give me a like and thank you very much bye bye